Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. I know people are getting tired of watching the same videos or the same projects over again. So, uh, didn't film any of the machine work on this cylinder head because hardly anybody watched it. Uh, being that there's been videos about that, same basic kind of thing uh, within the last couple months. So. The only real difference on this 3126 head is that it's a three valve instead of a four valve. And some of the springs and stuff are a little different. So this video is to help somebody in assembling one of these heads. Should they be working on a 3126 or maybe the C7 is the same. I'm not sure. It's probably different because they, uh, they may have gone away from these. This looks like a unit injector head. And uh, they may not be quite like that anymore. They've probably gone common rail, surely. But anyway, i got my valves all ground. Well, this, this head's getting new valves because the heads, or the valves were trash. But. So I've got the seats all reground. Uh, head surface, I milled it because it was pretty beat up and it was off a couple thousandths. Uh, there was more than two thousandths in one spot just a couple inches apart variance and when you get a dip that much you're probably gonna wind up with head gasket sealing issues so I just went ahead and dressed it off took about 10,000 to get it cleaned up but uh, it should be good to go now so I guess I'll start with doing these exhausts uh, springs are a lot longer on them than they are these intakes and, uh, May take a uh, heavier duty, more robust keeper. And these hardened shims that go in the bottom of the springs. I got all new seals on here already. Them all. Put lube in them. Like the lube. Lube's good stuff.
to get all the exhaust done. So now we'll do the intakes. Like Vanna White, beautiful. So there it is all together, except for that missing keeper. Probably got lost when the uh, valve came apart. Otherwise, there's the head. All milled up, ready to go. So, looks a lot better than when it started anyway. So we got a few little tracks of valve work crashed in here, but not too bad. I think it'll live again. So hopefully somebody will find this video useful. And uh, what little 3126 knowledge I have can be passed along and put to good use for somebody to fix one of these somewhere. Maybe the Pakistani truck guys can watch it, figure out how to work on one. I'm sure they probably already have though, so maybe I should be watching their videos. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch y'all later.